Uh, what's up, folks? I say that word a lot, folks. I think I'm gonna look at thesaurus and just start repeating another word for that word until I get it down. So I stop saying it. But it's you know it's like a neutral thing. It sounds polite, I guess. Uh, it took me a second to uh, think about what I wanted to make this evening for a uh, smoke break video. Uh, talking about a lot of controversial things, so I think I'm going to change it up, maybe, and then maybe I'll get into some controversial later. But I just want to say, uh, Madden 16 is fucking bullshit. And here's why. When you put it on all pro and you run the ball <coughs> six times a drive and have no play action fakes work and your play action rating is like 93, uh, it's fucking bullshit is what it is. Also, I've also noticed with Madden throughout time, I think since it started, since I, well, let's see, my first Madden game was 93 on the Super Nintendo. Um, and really, it's, you basically have a difficulty where you can fucking just dominate the entire fucking game. It's not even fun. And then you have a difficulty where, like, it's it's vastly more difficult. You can bear, you, it, 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 the jump is, is crazy. Now, in this Madden, it does the same thing, only to do the same thing, they fucking fix the fucking, like, <laughs> like, they get into your playbook, they're like, oh, well, you pick that play, so we'll pick this play and you'll fool no one. <laughs> Other times, it'll come down to like a throw and your guy will be wide open uh, and he'll just be fucking, he'll drop the ball. <laughs> and fucking you lose the game. Like, come on. Uh, penalties are now things in Madden, which... Uh, like by Madden 15, you barely ever had a penalty. This but this time, it's it's uh, you get quite a few. Um, it's just it, it just it's really starting to piss me off. That's all. Because usually I can get up to I usually I can be up to the all Madden difficulty by now on most of the Madden games, and this Madden difficulty I'm still losing about. 50% of my games on just all pro. Um, and it's starting to kind of fucking piss me off a little bit. Playing against people, I'm I'm okay. I mean, I, I fucking... I probably win slightly less than half my games. Like, 40%. I'm like an average, just slightly below average online player. But I, I generally like just playing against the computer because... A lot of people are fucking stupid. I don't like fucking talking to them. To be honest with you, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, and then there's people that are like twelve years old, and that's fucked up. I don't like. I don't like playing against you know little kids and shit. That's fucked up. I don't like it. <clears throat> and uh, so that's basically all I wanted to say. Just Madden sixteen is fucking bullshit. Uh, it's, in my opinion, the worst Madden game in franchise history. The worst. The worst. I'll say it again, just, just to brainwash you folks. It's, it's the worst Madden in franchise history. This game is horrible. <laughs> now, on paper, like, when I, why I got it, like, the new, like, passing thing, like, I thought that would be kind of cool. Not really. Not really. It's not, it's, I mean, it's the, it's generally, like, they say it's different, but, like, if you were playing the game, 
and you throw it, and you, know, you press Y for the aggressive catch. All the guy does is jump up in the air. Well, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> and go and get the football. Well, what happened in all the other bands when you press the Y or the triangle if you're playing PlayStation? He jumped up and got the football. I, it, yeah, it's The camera angles are a little cooler. I'll give it that, but the gameplay is the worst fucking gameplay in Madden franchise history. I'm just saying that. Um, I'm probably never going to pre-order another Madden game because of this. I'll probably not buy a Madden at GameStop for $60. I'll probably buy the used one a few months later for like 40 if I'm feeling fucking frisky. I <laughs> want the new rosters for that year or something. Like it, it, it's so... It's so it's so fixed. Here's how fixed Madden is on All Pro, just on All Pro. It's so fixed <laughs> that they do a worse job faking it as a computer than the NFL does in real life. And the NFL is obviously fixing some games. I mean, maybe not all the games, but that I mean, it's it's a uh, it's getting pretty pretty obvious some games are completely fixed to uh, <clears throat> cover or not cover the spread. And uh, even some games, I I mean, that, the uh, hail, the, the, the thing that happened a few years ago that they blamed on the crappy referees, the Hail Mary, that was fixing it for somebody to win money. Okay. <clears throat> and he... <laughs> And people are like, oh, it's just because of the bad... No. No, it's it's not. That, that that was a cover story. They might have even had that whole strike, might have even been fucking fake, like, to for the referees to make money on that game, maybe. And then they came back. Conspiracy theory, but... I have no proof of that, by the way. That was complete conspiracy theory conjecture. <laughs> but let's be honest, folks. I mean, let's watch some of these games. And you're not telling me that the fucking refs are fucking fixing it for the score. Come on. I covered that in my last video, though. Um, see, I'll pause it to talk about something else for like two minutes. Alright, so I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this in this video or the next one. Not much time left. But I'll use it up. So... I was outside at the gas station earlier today, smoking a cigarette, and uh, some guy came up to me, I don't know where he was from, so I thought he was like going to ask me for a cigarette, because that's what usually happens, but he looked at me, and I don't have, I was dressed, you know, like this, today, and he comes up to me, and he says, excuse me, sir. Ask you a question. I was like, uh, okay, sure. He said, I saw this thing online. Do you uh, do you watch the news? My fucking lighter go. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty knowledgeable. I'm up on my current events. I'm not quoting here. Okay, I'm giving a summary of of the conversation. <clears throat> so this motherfucker doesn't know me from fucking Ed from Bill, and he asked me. I saw a YouTube video, and I saw. A uh, documentary on 9/11. What do you think about 9/11? Was it? Do you think uh, there's a conspiracy? And I said, "Fuck yes, I think there's a conspiracy." And then we were like, "He's like, oh dude," and I was like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> we found each other. Amazing." 
Oh, because it's a 28 page document that's going to be released, I guess. That uh, may have some information leading to some uh, New World Order bullshit exposure of uh, certain people being involved from our government and Saudi Arabia. And there might have been some heads up. I'm sure you guys have seen some documentaries on YouTube. Well, apparently there's this 28-page document that's going to be coming out soon. <laughs> At least that's the report. Maybe not. I don't know. But I just thought it was weird that some guy just came up to me and started talking to me about it. Not knowing who I was. Have a good night.